Hi, Collective, Siberia from Cats and Cards. We're going to get out some collective messages and see what you are transmuting. I want to offer a trigger warning. So you're transmuting um, whether people stay in your life or not. This high honor energy is um, energy shifts. It's also a job switch. Yeah, leveling up. Somebody could be going back to school over the next two to five weeks. The 23rd to, uh, through the 25th are significant. You're transmuting work energy for sure. Um, this could be baby mama energy, or this could be um, a, this gives me supreme witch or practicing witch. And you're also um, trying to overcome depression. Somebody could be overcoming um, a jail sentence or the law of attraction here. Let's see what more you're transmuting. Give me this work energy. Give me this occupation. What is the collective transmuting when it comes to work? Um, the worst situations at best. Um, you're transmuting um, your pineal gland being penetrated. Pisces energy talking. Somebody talking too much or liars. You're transmuting who's real and who's fake. I feel like these are repeat energies that you kind of try to take cover from at work. Look at this hailstorm. Somebody could have an H in their name or H is significant being tested at work you're transmuting bitch ass energy who's the boss it could be negative feminine energy that's unhealed feminine energy and masculines as well <laughs> all right um so this is a watch at your own risk deck this is my downloads deck please don't shoot the messenger let's get into it what is the collective Let's um, split this deck. I'm going to use the top half first. What is the collective transmuting next 72 hours? It looks like six days here for some of you. Ohio comes out. Somebody could live in Ohio. Somebody could be from Florida or Brazil. Um, this also gives me um, energies where family could be coming up for Flor um, from Florida. That um, Brazil energy could be traditional energies that you're transmuting, money issues, um, somebody being with you but distant is also what you're transmuting. There could be some type of disappointment here. You're also transmuting sexual healing. Eights are significant in this spread. Wow. Somebody does want to like have a level up with you. Louis Vuitton. Is somebody um, overspending? Are you transmuting that energy? Or, um, take what resonates with you. Um, over the next six days, you might see these energies come in. Let's get it in a little bit more with the Downloads Deck Collective. Um, wonderful. Your dog doesn't like your person. That could be significant. Um, dogs are also spiritual animals as well. Wow, this comes out folded. Somebody may be folding on this energy. Bisexual energy is here. Um, sex goddess. Yam. This gives me heart chakra. Piano gives me Ben Orals. That may be something you're doing to open up your heart. Again, the, your dog doesn't like your person. Um, let's get a couple more from here and we'll move on to our other downloads deck. Um, next 72 hours to six days. Wrong marriage or alignment is coming out. Adolescent activating. So this could be a child. Um, this could be hormonal. This could be a child activating as well. There's support showing up for you. I see $25 here. That could be significant. And psychic guilt. Somebody could be having flashbacks um, or somebody could be having um, past um, nostalgia that is um, filled with guilt, filled with um, wanting to treat somebody better and didn't take the opportunity to do that. Unicorn tattoo. Um, you may see a unicorn on a picture or poster. Unicorn is Akashic Records and magical energy. So there's magic coming in over the next few days for you, Collective. Santeria. <laughs> Depression and lazy. Could be significant. Could be something you're battling. Level up. A feminine's definitely getting a level up here. Grandma in heaven is helping you. Displaced anger. See, don't hang around these energies because they will definitely cloud your intuition. They will definitely cloud your manifestations. I've seen 444 four, four on the clock as I was saying that. 444 four, four is you going the right way. Um, you answering the call for your path. So see what else, um, let's see what else is showing up. Give me a couple of energies here 
um, for the collective with work energy the rest of this week. Give me work energy um, the rest of this week. Portals are here. There's something happening where there's a completed cycle where you're going to be finishing first. After dishonor, after going through heavy transformation, after having to move on from something, you're getting this portal. Um, there's um, appreciation coming in with your mastery. I feel like you're learning a skill or you're honing in on what you can do best. This love energy is passion energy. It's mastery and transformation. Um, it's um, blind justice. It's will, power, 99. Um, look at all these nines in your spread collective. You have nine with mastery, nine with transformative energy, sex, death, and rebirth, looking sexier than before. And you have the stamina. This gives me life force as well, or gives me expertise. And you also, you have nine, 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 nine. Somebody better look that number up. You are the winner. This is the race of life. Look at this. You're moving on um, with humility, but you're moving on from dishonor. You're moving on from the energies that can't seem to master these lessons over the next six days. Um, Leo energy is here. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Capricorn collective. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's a Scorpio going through a transformation, having possibly having a little bit of problems rising from the ashes, but doing it. There's a Capricorn mastering life teamwork. Um, there's energetic shift when it comes to authority. There is a Pisces um, um, being recognized, receiving affection or romance, or this is somebody that you're tapping in with. Um, there is a Sagittarius honing in on a skill or healing um, their life force. There's an Aquarius. Um, it, even though there is fault that you're finding in yourself, um, you're trying not to shut down. You're trying not to run from your problems. And there's a Gemini that is on um, track. There's things that you're focused on. There's things that are leaving your life. But um, I feel like you're just ebb and flow with the universe and things are happening for you, Gemini. So let's get out our situation deck. Actually... I'm going to move over here into the evolution of the soul deck for the collective and see what's coming on. Oh, yeah. All right. Blessings. Look at that. Through this struggle, you have found some type of blessing coming in. There's expansion coming in. I feel like somebody is practicing being grateful, even through the hardest experiences in life. Um, this is Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy. Sagittarius energy gives me guardian angel. Pisces energy gives me directly um, connected to source. And what is great about the Pisces energy is that you can dream dreams and make them happen. It's like visions as well. Somebody's tapping into their unique gifts. I feel like this is bringing some type of harmony in your life. Think good things are coming in twos. Um, also, twos show up as companionship in the tarot. I feel here there's something about you teaching a lesson to novices of spirituality, how the law of attraction goes. There could be somebody definitely that's um, going to be pregnant or you are pregnant. Give me this for pregnant women or women trying for a baby. Um, for some of you, there is you will be getting pregnant. Um, don't lie to yourself here. I feel um, here you're not excited once you find out you're a little worried or you feel like um, things have been taken. But having a routine, um, your child I've already seen could be a girl here. Um, you could be dealing with an older man or an Aries or a Sagittarius. There's fire energy here. Your child could be a fire sign. Give me more. The Six of Cups here. Um, you want to heal the past. This father figure is going to want to heal the past. Um, there's a King of Pentacles here as well in the reverse. I feel um, this person, um, this will help some type of growth here. Give me more. Yeah, they, they're going to definitely want to commit to you for some reason. It feels like this masculine wants to come in and be more stable and grounded. Give me those manifesting new love. Let's see what's going on here. The Six of Swords, there is movement with your manifestation. Air energy. So this is happening over a matter of weeks for you. Give me for those manifesting love. Um, the Lover's card. Um, I could be talking to a Gemini. You're getting a new um, start with Aries energy. By March here... You're going to have um, you and your person. Give me more here. The three of swords. You have to get over this heartbreak and know that mentally it was a struggle, but you don't have to hold on to it. For the rest of the collective, manifesting new love. I could be talking to an Aquarius or a Libra. You're still getting over heartbreak. There's a Sagittarius here that is finding comfort even after chaos. The five of wands, getting out of the mindset where you feel like you can't be independent. There's healing energy here. There's also new work 
or a bounty of creativity um, through learned lessons. Please like, subscribe. Thanks, Collective.